morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another autumn vlog. So I've just been loving these autumn vlogs in the minute. There's something about autumn that just makes me want to vlog everything. I love this time of year. It's just so pretty outside. The leaves and the trees and just the landscape is so beautiful, especially in Ireland. Because Ireland is known as the Emerald Isle, but at this time of year it turns less of the emerald isle into more of the golden isle the golden brown and red and rusty and you know like autumn colored leaves isle <laughs> so yeah um i just like making the most of autumn it's my favorite time of year and it just makes me really happy i get really excited about it and I want to vlog it all so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the autumn vlogs and today we're going to be heading to Armagh which is known here in Ireland as the Orchard County because of its abundance of orchards and yeah we're going to head down there today because it's just so pretty at this time of year and it was about this time last it was actually around Halloween last year when we went because they had a pumpkin patch and I'm a sucker for stuff like that so we had to go um so I just want to head there today so that's the plan and as always I'm going to take you guys along and show you what we get up to but first I'm going to show you my outfit and I just had a package arrive from ASOS, is that it? Yes there it is. Um, I just had a package arrive from ASOS so I'm going to run through that with you as well because you guys have been enjoying the fashion content recently. I don't think I'm massively good at it but um, you guys have been enjoying it so that's a win-win. Um, and then I'll link everything down in the description as well in case you want to have a look or pick anything up yourself. But first up, I'm going to run through my outfit in the mirror here. Okay, so sorry about my dirty mirror. Maybe we'll move into this one. This one's a little bit cleaner. So we're in a very much um, transitional period in the time of year at the minute. So the weather is not massively warm, not massively cold. So it's not really time for a big jacket or a big jumper yet because you would be sweltered. But um, it's not quite t-shirt and shorts weather. So this is what we're going with today. I've got on this little basic white top from ASOS. I'm actually obsessed with these. If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen me talking about these so much recently. So um, it's like the fuller chest or the fuller bust plain t-shirts and basically like if you've got bigger boobs you'll know that t-shirts are a pain when they like bunch up around here because it just... Oh, it, it just makes you feel a bit, I don't know, like it draws attention to your bigger chest. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, so I saw these and I was like, they're only six pounds. They're actually on sale um, literally the day after I bought them, which is kind of annoying, but it was only like a cup, like 150 off or something. So I wasn't too um, annoyed about it. But um, yeah, I picked up these. I picked up a white and a black and I'm going to have a look and see if they have any other ones because I feel like these are going to be a staple in my wardrobe from now on. So that is what I'm wearing on my top. It's like the fuller bust um, plain white t-shirt from ASOS and um, yeah as I said I'll link everything down below then I've got on these Topshop mom jeans with like the distressed knee um, these are petite because I am literally two foot tall and then I've just got on my Nike Air Force ones because I'm basic like that and then I have on this Zara blazer um, which I am absolutely obsessed with and then this necklace actually is do you know what? I'm actually not sure whether it was my mum's or my granny's because they all blend into one. But I'm loving gold jewellery at the minute, so that is my outfit. Um, very basic, very simple, but I feel very, like, chic and sophisticated and stylish. Okay, so next up, let's uh, delve into this ASOS parcel. Um, I know it's very big, but I'm not planning on keeping everything in here. Um, because there were a few things, as I said, the ASOS sale came on and there were a few things I was looking and then when I saw them go on sale I was like, I have to get these now. So, let's dive in and have a look. Right, I'm so excited about this. I have wanted a pair of like classic Vans for a couple of years now and it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't want to pay full price because I know I'll be able to get them on offer and on ASOS at the minute they were 20% off so I was like I have to I just it's just a sign I have to buy them now so I picked up two pairs because there was two I couldn't decide between um which ones I preferred so I thought I, I just paid on Klarna and picked up both and then whichever one I don't like I'll return 
So I picked up the checkerboard sort of style ones, just the slip ones. Um, do you know what? I'll lift them out. Those ones there. Because I used to hate vans when I was younger. I got a pair of red vans and I just don't think they like suited my leg. So then that really put me off vans for years. And then as I got older, I saw people wearing vans and I kind of like was obsessed and I was like, mm, maybe I do like vans. Um, and then the other ones was just the classic old school ones. So they were reduced because vans are normally around 60. I think they were reduced to like 45, which is a pretty good price for vans. So I'm gonna try both of those on and see which ones I like the best. And then I also picked up a couple of jumper dresses. So I'm not gonna try these on right now because I've literally just got dressed. Um, but I'll try them on like tomorrow. So I picked up a plain black jumper dress. I'll take it out and show you guys what it's like. So this one's a bit of a longer one. Um, there we go. So I was in work the other day and I my desk is right beside the window. And I looked out and saw this girl in this like, like midaxi, is that what people call it? It's like sort of between a midi and a maxi. Um, black woolen jumper dress with a camel coat over the top. And I was like, that outfit is beautiful. Like I, I was, you know when you see an outfit and you're like, wow, that's so simple, but does the job. Um, so I just was obsessed and I was like, I have to do that. So. Um, I picked up this one. I think this one was around £21 and it's so thick and woolly and I'm, oh my word, I'm so excited to try that on. And then I also picked up like a brownie coloured one. So this one is a little bit shorter um, and it's also like brown, but it was reduced from £25 to 7 and I was like, I can't say no to this and um, I have to at least give it a go so it's pretty similar um so as you can see there so yeah I'm gonna try them on and see what I think and then decide what I'm keeping but I think I'm gonna try on the shoes right now because I've been very excited about them coming and yeah <laughs> okay so I've got the old school one on I have only put it on one foot but um yeah I really like them um that's all I really have to say about that but yeah, it's a thumbs up from me so far. Oh, they're just like, it's like a look that I've wanted for so long that it's kind of exciting. Um, so yeah, I really like them. I feel like they look really good. They're just so basic and will go with so many outfits. Um, as I said, I'm trying to build up like a capsule wardrobe at the minute. So things like this are such staples that are so versatile and you can wear them like countless times and times and times and times and times and, times and they just don't go out of style. So um. Yeah, I'm really happy with them, but now I'm going to try on the checkerboard ones and see what I think of them. I really like them because it's literally a slip on, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> as lazy as that sounds, there's just something so, like, satisfying about just having to slip your foot into a pair of shoes. So, let's try them. Okay, so I've got the checkerboard one on, and I do like them, but my verdict is I just prefer the other ones. There's something about these ones that are just giving me real clown vibes. Don't ask, I don't know. Um, like I've never thought that seeing them on anyone else, but seeing them on my own feet, for some reason I'm just getting real clown vibes. Um, yeah, I think these are probably the ones I return because as I said, the other ones are such a staple, whereas I feel like these ones are a wee bit more out there and won't go, I think I'll wear the other ones more. Um, because I'm just not, I don't know, I I do like them and I'm kind of disappointed that I'm just not feeling them as much on myself. Unless when I see the both of them on together. I don't know, just not 100% sold on them. I will mull over it today, try them both on tomorrow um, because I can't be bothered to take my other shoe off because we're meant to be away and all. Yeah, so. I'll think about it today, have a look tomorrow, and decide then. So just went and asked Dad and Adam what they thought, and they agree with the uh, old school ones. Because, as I, as I said, they'll go with more outfits, and they just, I don't know, there's just something about them that's so classic. Well, they are called classic. Well, they're in the classic collection too, but anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. So we're leaning currently towards the old school ones. Um, 
I feel like I could potentially go off them, the checkerboard ones as well, because I've only really come around to them recently, whereas I've been obsessed with the old school ones for a while. Anyway, as I said, I'm rambling. Um, everything will be linked down below, and now we're gonna go. Okay, so it's a few hours later now. It's actually about half past 12. We left the house at about 10, but I had a few errands and stuff to run this morning. So we've literally just arrived in Orma. And as we were driving about, we were commenting how much it reminds us of Dublin around here. It's like the stone buildings with, there's like a big grassy like park area in the middle with like nice trees and stuff. I'll sort of show you about as um, we get out. But it really reminds us of Dublin around here for some reason. It just has that same sort of like architectural vibe to it if that makes sense um so yeah we're gonna go explore first thing we're gonna do is go grab some lunch i think there's a nice cafe here called the bagel bean can you guess what they do um <laughs> so yeah i think we're gonna go grab some lunch and then just have a bit of a look about is this the first time you've been on the vlog today um sure sure <laughs> how are you sore walking was not fun old man mm. lunch time Oh. Oh. I actually need to pee now too, so hopefully their toilets will be open. Great. You don't need to put your mask on yet. I know, I'm being honest. Let's go get some lunch. It's your lunch. That place bagel bean is so nice. But um, basically there's this like pawn shop in Orma. Um, it's an around the point and they have the most amazing Halloween displays of everything. Like if you're looking at anything for Halloween, this is the place to come. Like it's almost as good as Halloween in America. Like how look how much stuff they have. I have never been anywhere that has so much Halloween stuff in this country anyway. Like look at that. I actually don't think I've shown my face mask on a vlog, so um, these face masks were very kind of gifted to me from a shop in Belfast called Born and Bread. It's a like local, like novelty sort of shop. They do like a lot of like really cool local things, and as you can see, it says "Fuck oh, Hi You Love" on the side, and it's like a cotton mask. It's very comfortable actually, um, and I really like it. It's very pretty. And there is the wee shop logo. So yeah, um, it's quite good because it has like two different sizes on it. As you can see, like, my, my head's sort of in between, so I have to wear one on the looser one and one on the tighter one, but sort of for different fits of a face, which is good. Did I scare you? No. Uh -huh. We've come up here to the Church of Ireland, St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's out here. As you can see, I just got a few wee clips of it, and there's Adam. Um, in Armagh, there's actually two um, St. Patrick's Cathedrals in Armagh. One is the Catholic Church, and one is the Church of Ireland. But the gardens around here are so pretty. Like, how well kept and all is this? It's so stunning. Um, like St. Patrick's Trail information sign it says that the present building which we see behind us here was built in 1268 oh. and building. Oh. oh yeah yeah, yeah never mind. and oh, um, so apparently according to tradition St. Patrick had a stone church built here in 445 AD how crazy could you imagine that being here 800 years ago? Does that freak you out? That's impressive. That is pretty impressive. It's older than some countries, so <laughs> So we've come now to the other St. Patrick's Cathedral in Orma, um, which is the Catholic Church. So yeah, this is it here. It's very grand, as you can see. and Yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to have a look about it. 
your heart.